Hello friends, this is Mainak and your civil bro. So today we will apply weight load to this particular structure. So earlier we had designed only with this particular structure. Uh, in Tecla Structural Designer, now uh, we will know how to apply the wind loads as per the IS875 part 3 which is the IS code for the wind loads in this particular software. So without wasting any time, let's get started here. So we have the model here and uh, first of all, you must ensure that your model is fully designed and analyzed and uh, before analysis also you can do all, all the other loads are applied and after that you can go to load and click on this wind wizard. So we'll take the worst case data and you can also consider the cyclonic effect also and uh, here this should be set to the plinth level in our case the plinth level is you know zero you can see check from the model construction levels you can see our plinth level is at zero and below this is the foundation level okay no problem and now this building length height everything you know they are calculating uh, as per the model so there is not an issue so building type here you can see this all other buildings important buildings here so if you need to select the building type here so it's going with all general buildings by the way i have a guide which is prepared in which you can find all the relevant uh, information which you need for the is875 uh, here uh, for for this so you can see the terrain category one terrain category two and the terrain category three so basically uh, you know you know if you have the probable topography factor which is k3 uh, or the terrain terrain factor which is in uh, page 8 10 and 11 so just if you type 8 and then you go here then it is actually uh, this category one in which there are very no obstructions and in this category two uh, you have some obstruction category three you know then more obstructions and category four in a very populated densely populated area so this is the categories like this you can know everything from this particular document i'll attach the link of this particular document in this video okay so building times so we're going with all general buildings here and then uh, most important structure industrial structure will go with this okay and uh, then uh, basic wind speed for the basic wind speed i'll just take the excel document here so the uh, basic wind speed vb is given in page 3 or 54 so page 3 if you go enter and if you find the map here or our location is here in this particular location so this is 55 so basic wind speed is 55 so in the the basic wind speed is 55 so we go with 55 meter per second and then we have the k2 factor sorry the k1 factor k2 factor should calculate uh, automatically okay k1 factor so the k1 factor is actually the probability factor in file in page number 10 so go and type 10 here and you will find the uh, risk coefficient this is the k1 factor okay k1 factor risk coefficient so for all buildings uh, of you know basic wind speed 55 and all general buildings this comes in in as one so ours it depends on which building we had selected earlier so you can see it here these options all other buildings emergency buildings building type this one temporary row hazard to life so this has actually been taken from this table number one so if you select all general buildings and uh, our basic wind speed is 55 so our k1 factor should be 1 so that's why our k1 factor is actually 1 now is the area averaging factor k3 factor so for the k3 factor let's check the excel file which page number to go uh, this is page number 11 so we'll just type 11 enter in this and in this k3 factor uh, you can see yeah you can see the effect of topography so the area averaging factor is the k3 factor topography factor so the basic wind speed given in figure, figure number one is there and and the effect of topography may be significant when the theta or the upper slope is more than three degree so value before that the k3 vector will be taken as one so if you have a plane ground then the k3 factor will be taken as one otherwise you have to follow the things which are given in next c so ours we are having a plane ground so we are taking a k3 value of one here okay so k3 value is one here and we proceed to this next uh, terrain category so terrain category as we had mentioned only earlier in page 8 10 9 and 10 so we are going to go with terrain category uh, you know 2 that is 
uh, you know this these are op options available so we're going to with terrain with uh, scattered obstructions we're going with so fetch distance we're going with five so fetch distance uh, distance is nothing that but you know the distance in which the uh, you know the air or the wind forces or the wind patterns remain same so generally we taking it five meters no need to check anything in that generally and then this uh, topographical feature so we'll consider it not consider a topographical feature so if you consider then we will take from the code the values of the various features here so you can see the k2 values which depends on the height basically they are calculating in the software itself okay so we are good with this one press on okay so now comes the main part and uh, now first of all we go to load we okay, go to model first and we'll uh, select the wall panels okay so you can see i have already you know applied the wall panels i think these are from the previous videos in the wall panels so to apply the wall panels you just need to go to model and uh, you need to select this uh, wall panel and you select this four points one you know uh, and then this one just double click here okay double click here and then the wall panel will be created so like this i have created the wall panel on all the four sides rotating in that so I, I forgot to delete before making this video so but i think you can create the wall panels on all the sides you can avoid the cantilever portion these are very small otherwise the wall panels you cannot uh, you know find any symmetrical value and you can also avoid the headroom portion also so just to find the symmetrical um, portion for the wall panels so next thing which you need to do is the uh, you know cp value for the wind load cases okay so these are the uh, you know the update zones and these are the wind load cases here so you can add auto so it will add the auto you can see the cp is added auto in this direction the, the, the two wind cp the zero direction 90 direction and 180 direction there is two and and also uh, 270 direction that is the four directions uh, it is applying so it is auto so it is applying cpi is 0.2 so uh, it is not actually calculating the uh, cpi value uh, this is calculating but cpe value it is not actually considering but at, at least they are taking the cpi value so what is the cpi and cpe so that's where we need to dig a little bit deeper so here uh, we go in this particular uh, location uh, in this table number one actually the cpe values are given for the particular earthquake okay and the cpi values also i will just show you so you can see page check in page number 14 here as i have given in this pdf cp for the cpi first so the cpi the internal pressure coefficient so internal pressure coefficient of point uh, you know in case of buildings or claddings where it's permit the flow of air with openings not more than five percent which will be maximum of your cases cpi of plus two with uh, or minus two can be applied so plus two and with another one with an internal pressure coefficient of minus two so that's just simply the magnitude is two and uh, in the both the direction i can plus or minus two this one so cpi is sorted so tecla has already applied the plus two minus two plus two minus two plus two minus two in all the directions but which is which uh, what one thing which is not applied is the uh, cpe so to find the cpe as you can see in this you can go to page number 16 just type 16 here and enter so in the table number uh, one this is actually if you are uh, having roof truss then you should go for table number uh, six uh, or else you can find in this table number five so in this table number five you will find this particular internal external coefficient values so if you are in a hurry i would suggest that you just do all of this cpe values you know as you know uh, add all these cpe values as you know one okay because one is the maximum which you can go so you know in the zero direction you add you know this, you add plus, minus one you add plus one and uh, you know this you know the cpe values plus one minus one and in this direction also plus one minus one so this is the maximum but if you want to go with a little bit more economy and you have some time in designing the model and you want to make it perfect so in that case you can go with this so here what we are having is first of all uh, we should know the building height uh, ratio here so okay h by w height to width ratio so to know the height to width ratio 
so we have to just look into that go to model and uh, you have the measure tool and in the measure tool uh, this is the 9.55 and the height here for the building is is uh, 22.95 so uh, 22 point you just calculate this 22.95 divided by what was this again i just forgot uh, it is 9.55 9.55 so if you calculate this comes out 2.4 so 2.4 means uh, it comes more than 1.5 and it lies actually so 2.4 means it uh, 3 by 2 is 1.5 so 1.5 it will act come in this particular uh, zone now we need to know the l by w okay l by w there are two criteria here so for l by w so one is 9.55 let me just uh, open the calculator so i can calculate here so that you can guys can relate so one of our value is 9.55 so 9.55 and let's see the other value which will be the longer value of course uh, it is the 12.75 so uh, 12 just give an escape 12.75 divided by 9.55 comes as 1.34 so uh, in this particular code this is 1.5 so it comes in first two criteria so for zero degrees we have plus uh, plus 0.8 and minus uh, minus 2.25 and first of all let me just complete the zero degree part uh, this is for the A, B, you can see the A, B, C, D. So A is the windward face and uh, B is the leeward face. Okay. So if A is 0 degree, then B will be uh, 190 and then 180 degree. Okay. So uh, here, first of all, let's go now. Now you have the table defined. Now you can easily go here to the load here and to this. First of all, add the auto load combinations because we want that. Now, in the uh, zero direction, wind zero. Okay, so wind zero. First of all, the maximum value. Just uh, keep the sign as the same. That is minus point two. But the maximum value which you can add here. So this is in the zero direction. So let's go back to this okay this uh, our our case was this one okay so i'll just highlight this so that i don't forget this okay this is the case okay so our case is this one right so we'll get back to this tecla structural designer maybe i'll delete this and apply manually here and add here first of all for the zero direction and uh, the cp here in the first cp in the zero direction so first value is 0 0.8 and uh, so cpi is 0 0.2 so the maximum we can go is 1 here 0 0.8 plus 1 and the direction here it is definitely positive okay so we'll give the positive 1 here okay add and in the 0 in, in this in that and then again in this monetary direction it will be minus that is negative so it will be minus 0.25 and what is the maximum value we can go it is minus plus minus uh, 0.25 minus 0.2 which is minus 0.45 so we'll go here uh, this will be minus 0.45 so this is for the uh, windward and leeward phase in the zero direction now for the side ones okay now for the side walls in the zero direction itself okay side walls that is the wind uh, Sorry, this will be direction 180 okay because this is in the leeward phase and okay this is good and then it will be in this direction 90 and 270 so both in the 90 and 270 we have the cpe of 0.8 and 0.8 that is c and d in this particular figure so 0.8 and 0.8 the maximum we can go is 1 okay so minus 1 minus 1 in both the uh, this two, uh, two directions so we'll go here minus 1 and again add and this will be 90 and this will be 270 this also will be minus 1 okay so this is applied for one particular load okay which is this one and this zero and for the next also we'll apply so for wind 90 let's let me just add here now 
wheel 90 lever side so we for the wheel 90 lever side the code says minus pointed so again minus pointed minus 0.2 maximum it can be so minus 1 so minus 1 here which is already there so we don't need to apply it uh, right now and uh, again um, for the other direction that is the, uh, the that will be uh, that will be actually 170 this is already 270 that is one is already there so this we also don't need to apply and for the side walls that is in the direction uh, it will be actually 90 and uh, side walls also 0 0.25 0 0.25 we already have added more than that so in this case this particular case this all these loads which you applied should be sufficient here we load so if you so you can see almost this maximum ones are coming as one so just to save time to, to do everything as one that will also do just click on ok for now okay and uh, then you can see uh, this has been applied cp has been applied in all these four directions here and then you can go to load and you can load to combination here and you can click on generate okay so generate the load combinations here so you can see why many you know people add the you know load that is simply one here because ultimately the maximum load in all direction you know if you want to save time that is better that is not a wrong process but not an accurate process as per the code so if you are in a hurry and in normal models i recommend you know just take one okay otherwise you can you can calculate and it is the, the most accurate process okay so then uh, we go to uh, design and design all static here and let's see the results here of the analysis here so the process uh, let me just briefly summarize first of all you have to define the wind loads so the indian code is available in tecla uh, structural design and latest versions earlier versions also it was there so that just need to enter the building parameters and you need to apply the wind panels for the software to be able to apply the loads uh, like it has have the option of applying diaphragms uh, as per my knowledge this option is not in tecla currently so and then you have to apply the cpe and cpi factor so cpi factor for general buildings is 0.2 for plus and minus 0.2 and the cpe factors you will find the external pressure coefficient find in table number 5 in page number 16 of the pdf and in the actual printed version it is page number 13 so you'll find that and uh, you need to find the maximum cpe in all the four directions and apply it if you don't have time just apply you know factor of one and along with the sign which you are getting okay then that should be enough and after that just create don't forget to create the load combination because whenever you are uh, you know adding any load just add the load combinations and uh, then we'll see when you can see some members have failed but our motive is you know just to make the design uh, you know just to see how the wind load acts here so we'll go uh, we already know how to you know just pass the model testing if we increase the size the model the columns will pass you can see the uh, analysis results here so here we'll select the wind loads in this particular direction cpe and let's see the results uh, let's see the actual force here and let's see the shear force the shear uh, shear minor you can see shear minor shear major and uh, actually we want to see the deflections here it will tell, a, tell us a lot here about the uh, wind load you can just increase the magnitude here just to check the deflection so cpi it's in the zero direction this this makes sense because it's in this direction and then you have this cp uh, the, this in the 180 direction and then we have the uh, in the 90 direction you can see so you can see in the 270 direction so these are the uh, these you can see how the wind load is acting so if you just add, add my, minus one in all then it will maximum so another thing which you can do for more you know accuracy and more uh, safety factor that in, in zero you can apply plus one and minus one uh, in 180 you can apply plus one and minus one 
in 90 you can apply plus 1 and minus 1 in 270 you can apply plus 1 and minus 1 because that will ensure entire everything all the suction and and you know the outward pressure everything this will ensure so you can do that okay let us do that let us do that actually so i'll go to you know model uh, load and delete this wind, wind uh, i think don't don't want to don't need to delete this wind load i'll delete this and uh, uh, click on auto because since they add the two versions here so here this is minus one right minus two so then minus one and then plus one and here also minus one and then plus one and here also minus one and then plus one so both the suction and uh, this thing will be considered uh, outer pressure will be considered here now okay yes obviously and and then you just uh, click on uh, I you need to add the load combination once again I suggest that but because sometimes the software glitches out well, especially when you add this new loads here so low so go to design and design on static so I'll just maybe I'll just pause here so the design just uh, you know completed and go back to the uh, analysis mode so and now we'll check here CP0 you can see now you can see both the you know suction and also the outer pressures have been considered now so now your structure is foolproof you know if, if your structure is passing all these loads wind load then uh, and it should be fully safe from everything however if you want to design it a little bit more economically instead of you know this plus one minus one plus one minus one you to just you know, look into this and uh, apply the max term possible some maybe it may be 0 0.7 0 0.4 0 0.6 so it may be values maybe around this in some cases it may be point 0.1 also so yeah you can uh, look around this and uh, also i'll just attach the excel file if you want just want to calculate this you know windward you know coefficient and leeward coefficient in this yeah, i think this excel file will really help you and also i've attached a part of this important part of this code here here so hope this helps uh, drop a like if you like my effort and if you want anything further just uh, make feel uh, feel free to drop a comment here thanks bye bye